Samsung teases that there will be more than just two phablets in its unpacked event. We get the first possible leaks of the Huawei Nexus phablet, and Apple also provides solid numbers for how many users are testing Apple Music. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I've always wondered exactly why is it that Thursdays aren't the best days of the week. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with Apple as the company's senior vice president for internet services, Eddie Q, was recently interviewed by USA Today, and he provided details on Apple Music, particularly how many subscribers are testing it. He teases 11 million users, out of which 2 million are for family plans, meaning there are six more users after that, which is interesting considering the fact that it's only been in the market for a month and that Spotify has 20 million users and is available in everything else, in addition to just iOS, which is the gaze of Apple Music. So it's a good way to start 55%. The question is, what will happen after that three month trial is over? And that's what we really want to see the numbers. And speaking of interviews, the company's CEO was recently claiming that uh, even if they wanted to, they couldn't read our iMessages or share our FaceTime calls or anything because everything is encrypted on a device basis. Even if the FBI would come up to ask for stuff, they wouldn't be able to provide it. But as it turns out, there is this full study in the links of the description that I highly recommend that you read that says otherwise, that even though the FBI will not be able to grab all our data, uh, they could grab some important data indeed. So uh, interesting, again, read it. It probably pertains to what you care about. Other very important official news have ASUS launching a new battery with a phone in India. We're talking about the ASUS Zenfone Max, which is pretty much a Zenfone 2 laser in specifications, but with the added bonus of a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. The company hasn't really provided details on how long that battery will last, since this is a battery with a phone indeed, but uh, we should expect this product to launch in October and we will keep you posted. We definitely want to review it. And moving over to the hot rumors of the day, there is this very interesting video roaming around on the internet that shows us the Huawei Poseidon, which apparently is the Nexus phablet that the company is working on. Now, probably because we heard that it had a metallic back and it doesn't seem so in the video, but the fingerprint scanner is there, even though this wouldn't be the only Huawei device with one. So there is a lot to expect from Huawei when it comes to the future of the Nexus products that are rumored to come from Huawei. Uh, we just want to confirm if this video is legit and we will keep you posted to confirm. And finally, for the very both interesting and disappointing news of the day, first of all, Samsung is teasing that there is apparently a tablet in the works to be announced in its unpacked event, which is great since this will be a lineup. But on the other hand, we've got some trusted sources claiming that there will not be a Gear A product being announced and unpacked, which could leave things for IFA, which is not necessarily bad, but it does lead me to the question of the day. If you had to choose, do you want a Samsung tablet or the Gear A, which one would you pick? Because in my case, honestly, I would pick the smartwatch, particularly because I'm not too happy about Samsung tablets lately. But leave us a comment down below, what would you want? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.